Hey everybody, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions. So, this is quite possibly my loudest intro ever. Not me, but the game itself. It's, it's rather loud right now. We got the rain pouring, we got her a chainsaw in, and... Yeah, it's pretty loud. Um, so in the last part, Isabella got uh, her skill up to a level five, which enables her to purchase these huge ice blocks, which, I mean, where do you buy those? Where do you buy those? And a chainsaw, which Portia is literally like in the way of it. Be careful, honey, you will get cut. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. We now have ice sculptures, and I don't know why I'm so excited for ice sculptures. But I am. Like, look at this. This looks pretty freaking fancy. You know how good that would look at a party? <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm excited. And um, also, it's one day until winter, which you guys have no freaking idea how excited I am for it to be winter. I am so, so, what is that? What the heck is that? Okay, um, I'm gonna have to check that out, but I am so excited for winter. It's, I'm like sick and tired of this rain. Fall, fall, go away. Don't come back another day. But what is, what is this? Oh no, that's a rain, but what is this? What is that? That's apparently laundry that's like in the ground. What kind of mess is this? Portia's gonna come over here and what in the world what was that why was it underneath the ground um ben colto made himself some cheesy extra cheesy i'm sorry pizza and it looks absolutely scrumptious i am starving right now as usual i just love food i really do look at her go i need pictures of this Like, look at her go. Okay, I think Portia... Okay, she has an interview, but instead she's playing in the puddles. We're going to go interview Rich, who had us um, do that cyber warfare case for him. So we're going to go ahead and go interview him, see what's up. And wow, we already have 12,000 lifetime reward points. Oh my gosh, Alexander has 14. Ben has 22,000. He's moving up in, in the world pretty fast. And Isabella has 17. So I guess that's one benefit of ambitions is because you're completing so many tasks and getting promotions like crazy. Your lifetime reward points go up like dramatically fast, which is pretty cool. We can get, you know, fun little things in our household and all of that good stuff. So I'm probably going to wait until we have about 30,000 to purchase some cool stuff. I don't think I'm going to get inheritance because it's kind of like, you know, a quick way to money and we're already making decent money and it's all about careers and all of that. So I don't yeah. think I'm going to, but hello, rich well off. Some days I hate my job. <laughs> rich is worried that scout has been saying mean things about him on the form. Uh, both of them frequently go on. It's my job to hack into scout's computer to set things straight. Ugh. Well, I sold our computers, so we actually have to head over to um, the library and use theirs. And that's so funny. She's like, I hate my job. In reality, she's like, this is literally everything I live for. This drama is perfection. Oh, guys. How pretty. How pretty. But yeah, she's going to head to the library here. And we're going to head all the way over to our... Handy dandy library computer. Hey, little boy. How you doing? I like your leggings and Mary Janes. She's going to head over here and hack into Scout's computer. Since Rich apparently is the... Uh, uh, hey, little boy. I like your leggings and Mary Janes. So cute. Hmm. Alright, so we're hacking into his computer right now. <laughs> uh, wh why do we do this? Poor Portia is like involved with so much random stuff like broken toes, um, gnomes, hacking into people's computers. It's like, does she ever get a break from other people's drama? I mean, I guess it is kind of her job and everything, but still. <sighs> I'm not proud of myself, but I went online and called Scout a noopin' poopin'. Okay. Which is apparently something really mean in some online circles. I should tell Rich the job is done. 
<laughs> she called him a noop and poopin. If somebody called me a noop and poopin, I'd be like, get out my face. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we're gonna go tell Rich that we called him a noop and poopin. Hi, Rich. I called um, I called Scout a noop and poopin. Job is done. Now pay me like seven hundred smolians for calling him that. Beyond me. Beyond me. But it looks so pretty out tonight, doesn't it? Wow. I'm impressed. It looks really nice out. So we're gonna go ahead and go share the news, I guess. Huh? Oh, oh. Oh. Whipsy? No 650 smolians. Pathetic. Rich gasped when I mentioned I used the term noop and poopin. Apparently, I used a little too much force in the form. Nonetheless, Rich is pleased and I got paid. Case closed. I guess we were a little too brutal, but whatever. Oh, she's looking rather good tonight. Instead of heading home, Portia, let's head to the bar. I did go ahead and place down... Where did I put it? I placed down the watering hole from Pets. So we're actually going to head here and get some drinks. And look at the... Look at the bouncer like, we don't allow Porsches in here. We come in anyways. Alexander is going to head here as well. You know what? Ask to get in. Oh, I'm just going to have him ask. <laughs> he should be able to get in, but I'm going to have him ask anyways. I mean, look at the people who are in here. If she gets in and we don't, there will be an issue. And I'm going to have Ben. Oh, he's still raking leaves. He's going to come take a break. Everybody's just going to kind of chill for a little bit i'm just everybody's gonna enter but i'm gonna have alexander ask if he can get in i would absolutely die if the lady was like no actually you can't that would be amazing but yeah portia is going to head over here oh she's a little hungry so she's gonna order a single serving of mm, hot wings sounds so yummy and then i'm going to have ben is he hungry no he had his cheesy pizza he's going to order a llama head Oh, look at oh, hey, it's Clay. Oh, Isabella, get here so we can talk to him. She's going to come over here and greet him. All right, here's Benny boy. Just walking right in. Where's Alexander? Oh, there he is. Right there, guys. Found him. Oh, oh there he is again. Found him. What's up with the little kids roaming the streets and, like, the library in this game? What's up with that? Kind of weird. I'm going to just throw that out there. Would she stop playing in the leaves and come here? Isabella, why are these- are these two, like, stuck? Really? Okay, um... Oh, you frickin'- Ooh, Alexander, the things I'd like to do to you. Ooh, that sounds not all that good. But he's gonna come here, and like I said, he's going to- ask to get in because that's just how he is and then isabella vega is she coming now she should be are you coming now yes okay here they come took them long enough oh look at her she left literally left alexander in the dust <laughs> all right so we are going to head out there and now they're putting on their outerwear because it's getting super cold i'm happy about that so she's just gonna walk right in and now we're gonna watch alexander be pathetic and ask to get in <gasps> accuse her of cheating <gasps> look at look at <laughs> she's like i guess so oh my gosh she's about to accuse her of cheating did she do something to him did they like Oh no, this is not going to be good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, that... <gasps> Portia has a cheater reputation. Well, I mean, that is that is Portia. Uh, so, what she is going to do... Um, I read a lot of your guys' comments, and, you know, I, I understand a lot of you guys are like, Team Alexander! Yeah! And then a lot of you guys are like, Team Ben! And then people are like, Team Isabella! I, I'm not sure what I want to do with them yet. I, you know, it's Portia we're talking about here. Do you think Portia's going to settle down with one man? Heck 
no, she's not going to settle down with one man. Heck to the freaking no. She is going to definitely be between different relationships till she, I guess, is, um, is realizing that she's wasted so much time of her life kind of just dating and everything. She had fun doing it, but like she wants to start a family or maybe she wants to work on her career and just, I don't know, but she's definitely going to go on lots of dates. I probably, uh, her and Ben are probably going to break up soon too or something. Who, who knows? You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, if her and Alexander are meant to be, which they may be, they will come back together and rekindle and ooh, because somebody, I really loved this. Somebody said opposites attract and I completely agree with that. I completely and 110 150% agree that opposites attract all the time, like all the time. And then sometimes there's couples that they're so much like each other that they just enjoy being together. So it kind of works both ways, but I don't know. We will see. I'm not sure yet, but she's definitely going to break up with him. Because that's, uh, that's, that's Portia's thing. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and break up with him now. Jeez. Okay, Alexander. Oh, get it. Jeez. Aww. He's like, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> he literally did not care whatsoever. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Because Alexander was so rude to us and, you know, caused a scene. We're going to go ahead and kiss Benny right in front of him. Oh, He's super lonely right now. I need a picture of this. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor Alexander. Oh my gosh. God, it's so sad. Okay, he is going to freaking get super juiced. He's like, forget it. I'm not much of a drinker, but tonight I am. Ben and Portia are probably going to go, woohoo. Why not, right? She's single now, so. Just going to be very awkward, the sleeping situation now. Like, who's going to sleep where? I don't know yet. I don't know. If her and Isabella were closer, which they really need to be, it would be way easier. Isabella's just up here doing her own thing. So I'm going to have Isabella actually head downstairs and dance with Portia. I'm not dance with her quite yet. Um, she's going to ask her how her day is. And we will... Hmm... Tell her a firefighting story because we're just so cool. And then we are going to talk about the cold because it is coming. And, you know, just chat it up with her. And poor Alexander. He's, oh, oh, the pain of rejection is enough to put any sim down in the dumps. Look on the bright side. It's all, it's better to try and fail than never try at all. Oh, he's like literally sobbing into his drink. Oh, my poor Alexander. Oh, okay, well, he is going to have another drink. This is my kind of woman right here, wearing my grandma's nightie. I love this. But, yeah, he's going to down a couple of drinks. He's definitely not feeling great tonight. I don't think he likes Ben all that much either. Yeah, he really doesn't like Porsche, but he kind of uh, has an issue with Ben as well. <laughs> Then, how about you go ahead and order a drink as well? Big mistake. Oh, that's what Alexander's drink is going to be tonight. The big mistake. He's going to drink that again. Um, I want to talk to Clay, but I want them to have a relationship as well. And it's really not going up all that fast. Listen, I need somewhere to sleep tonight. Please. <laughs> Alright, I think Portia's going to have to sleep. Um somewhere else tonight i mean alexander's pretty good with his sleep considering he stays up all night so i think i'm going to just have isabella ben and portia head home and go to sleep now um she looks so good but oh my goodness look at him oh my goodness i've never seen this in my game like ever oh my gosh need to brood alexander has some pretty heavy stuff to work through it's going to be hard to get through anything oh it's because it's going to be hard to accomplish anything until he starts to figure out what this thing 
is called. Okay, he is going to, I guess, go ahead and order another drink. Another big mistake. Um, since he is feeling so down, he is feeling pretty juiced right now. And look at this, he wants to watch the stars with Portia. Oh, poor thing. He's just not feeling it, like, at all. I'm gonna have him go ahead and maybe converse with the mixologist, spill his sorrows. Oh, yeah, he's gonna talk to the mixologist and just tell her how he's feeling and all of that. See if she, she cares at all. I don't believe his social will really go up all that much. It's it's like a combination of everything that's going on that he's he's not feeling all that well. His social is down for a reason, but the bar is closing. Oh, that sucks. Which means it's um it's time to go home and relax and all of that. I think I'm actually ooh, it's very frosty. Yo. I love it. Can we skate yet? Yes, we can. Okay. I don't think he's quite ready to head home yet, you know? He's had a long night. I'm gonna have him come to the beach and, um, and go here and just maybe relax, sit here for a couple of hours. He's just, he's not ready to go face the reality of the whole situation. I would say so, you know? So he's just, is he not gonna take a taxi? Is he just gonna do this the whole way there? I mean, it's pretty close, right? No, not really at all. All right, then have fun running there, buddy. All right, there we go. All right, and he is going to mm, contemplate the meaning of life. At least he has yellow eyeshadow on. <laughs> oh, consider the hollowness of life. That's what he's going to do. He's just going to... Oh, okay. Never mind. That works too, buddy. That works too. Oh, your sim is too lonely to do that right now. Okay, then he's gonna go ahead and just... Just think on the beach right now. Relax. Oh, and then there's just like a wild horse that's about to like stampede him. Well! <laughs> I wish that would have happened. Oh, he's gonna go let the horse sniff his hand. gonna head home rather shortly because Portia will be you know ready to wake up in a bit so he's going to, oh the horse doesn't even want him oh the horse ran away too poor thing I feel so bad for Alexander he's gonna go to the diner really quickly get some breakfast and then head home and call it a day these three are asleep good for them Ben just went to bed or he's just going to bed. Ben, go to bed. Ben, you're a mess. But Isabella is almost good to wake up. He definitely needs to head home and get some sleep for sure. He's he's feeling rather horrible. So he is going to head home, sleep in Portia's bed. Poor thing. And Portia will wake up and um, take care of some stuff around the house. Oh, poor, poor. oh, and it's snowing! Yes! 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 I am so happy about this. I am ready for some winter fun. Also, um, yes, Isabella completed her glorious Gloria, I believe it's called. Um, yeah. So we could go ahead and put this around our house. I'm gonna toss it right here, even though it does not match our house. Oh, maybe right here in the corner. It is like not. It doesn't like. It does not match your house whatsoever, but it's like an ice sculpture. You like gotta keep that, right? It would totally melt, but why not? So she's gonna be waking up. Isabella is going to go ahead and wake up as well. She is going to sculpt another ice sculpture this morning. She wants to go ice skating. Maybe that's what Portia will go ahead and do. She's gonna wake up as well. Uh, she's going to go use the potty or actually no I told myself that Isabella needs to head into work today sorry she actually is going to go clean up the bad food really quickly eat some cheesy pizza for breakfast and then she has to go collect her service award and then head into the fire department to do a little bit of maintaining that's heavily needed but yay oh I love it she's gonna come out here and burn these we do still have some leaves to rake, but we're just gonna go ahead and burn these for now. 
Alright, and the snow's kind of getting deep enough, or it's th the ground's icy that we can't even rake leaves anymore. So that's fine. I like, I want to save this little chipmunk right here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and catch him. There's like just, you know, fiery pits going on right now. Oh, and there's a squirrel, but I want a chipmunk. Alright, cool nose, cool nose. Um, this particular rodent is uncommon. I just love animals, so we're gonna get a little chipmunk, why not? Get a little rodent terranium. Here. And we will put him right here. Okay, and we'll make this. Insurance. Oh! Insurance is granting you 50 simoleons to cover your loss from the fire? Okay. See, this is why I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I was just going to dispose of them, but whatever. I don't know what happened, but... Or what burned, but I suppose so. I suppose so. Was it my tree? No, I don't know what it was. <laughs> I have no idea. So yeah, that squirrel. Sorry, squirrel. We got a chipmunk, and we're going to go put it up there because it's so cute. No, you don't need to go check out the new object. You are going to go collect your service award and then head into the fire station. Portia has some laundry to do this morning. Yes, go ahead and clean that up really quickly. Okay. Yeah, see, there's laundry everywhere. All hail Isabella, hero of Twinbrook, in recognition of your heroic deeds in the service of the fire department. I am proud to represent you with the firefighter's trophy of honor. You've saved the lives of two innocent sims. May you save the lives of many more. Thank you, hero. Cool, cool, we got the same trophy. Oh no, this one's gold. <laughs> We're winning. And we also have our little fire, fire woman coat that we need to hang up, put it in her room since she has like all her, her little stuffs over here. Put that there. And then we'll take her trophy and we'll also put that upstairs. I don't think I can put it on her shelf, like put it in her corner. Cause you know, that's where trophies belong, in the corner. All right, and she is going to head over to the fire station. She should definitely get trophies. If she's going on her day off to go freaking work on some stuff there, then definitely we deserve all the promotions that we can get, all the money we can get, you know? All right, so we're going to come over here and maintain the fire truck because it so badly needs to be maintained. I think the bell does too. No, the bell's at 78%, but we need to... Um, Maintain this, improve the horsepower, do all of that stuff, and Benny Boy will also go ahead and wake up, come here, and invent some stuffs. I'm ready for explosives. This is why you should never, I don't know, let me invent stuff, because I'm over here, yeah, the explosives, I can't wait to throw them everywhere. <sighs> There's issues. There's issues here. All right, she is going to go ahead and do some laundry, get the clean laundry. Oh, and we all got our weekly stipends. All right, we just got our weekly stipends. Uh, 640 smolians for Alexander. Uh, 840 for Isabella. That's really good. Portia got 400. <laughs> Little Ben doesn't get anything. But still, we have almost 3,000. Well, we have 3,000 smolians, which is good stuff. And, oh, the snow's super thick. We are going to put on some holiday lights. It's still hanging. I don't know. I've, like... We really need windows. As you can see, that's the first thing we're going to buy. Um, I like the hanging ones because they're a little bit more visible. I'm going to try strip. Maybe strip. I don't know. I think I'll do strip for a change. Um, maybe blue. Blue looks pretty nice. I always do multicolored because they're just so pretty. Like, oh, I love them. But maybe I'll do not purple white no white's kind of boring like i would do white if i was doing hanging because it kind of looks like icicles i think i'll do white hanging lights it looks like icicles right and really quickly i'll buy a couple of windows for up here i kind of want to do like a different window for up here maybe okay i'm just not going to purchase them right now i will do it off camera um that's fine and I think, I think that's, that's, that's good for now. I'll, you know, purchase objects off camera because it can take me a while. Everybody's over there working and I'm um, improving the horsepower. I'm going to have Portia really quickly head over to the pond and go skating really quickly. Like, why not, right? Looks like she's 
She's skating with her heels. <laughs> All right then, Portia, there we go. Portia, Portia, get off that. Together, 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 everyone, together. Parker Prudent. All right, Ben, how are you doing over here? Okay, not so good, not so good. Portia is getting pretty good at skating. She hardly slips anymore. And Ben has discovered how to invent a robot toy. Nice, buddy. I'm proud of you. And she's over here doing her thing. She improved. She maintained it completely, I believe. Yeah. And now she's improving the horsepower to a level 3. Currently, she is at 60% um, complete with that. So we're going to go ahead and finish that really, really quickly. And then we're going to end this part here, or right after this. <laughs> Unroutable Sim found Portia Duran. How you doing over here, girlie? You okay? <laughs> what is she doing? What is this mess? Why is she skating in her yard? What? Portia, you need to stop. Portia, Portia. Oh, you gotta love glitches, Portia. Oh, and Ben's on fire. Ben is on fire. It's like not even shocking anymore. We already, we, we already know what to do. Go put yourself out. Or Isvella could put him out. Yes, she's brave. She's gonna do it. Go ahead, go put him out. Go put him out. She's like watching him burn for a second. Aw, poor Ben. And the horsepower is improved on the bright side. Uh, so yeah, guys, I guess I'm going to really quickly fix Portia. <laughs> She's a mess over here. She's such a mess. She's like, whatever. I'm I'm cute. Oh, okay, Portia. Okay, then. Yeah, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to. Bye, guys.